integration has many facets. We can talk about economic integration, social integration, political integration, cultural integration. But one of the questions is, how much does recognizing diversity or being inclusive of people, regardless of their cultural or religious or national origin backgrounds, how much does that matter to help along this process of integration? One of the debates has been that promoting multiculturalism, or if we don't like that term, promoting pluralism or diversity, might harm that process of integration where integration is understood as social cohesion or some sense of unity within a country. In research I've done, we've looked very carefully at multiculturalism or pluralism policy, and we've tried to identify what kind of policy would count in terms of pluralism policy. And we build on something called the Multicultural Policy Index. And that looks at countries around the world and basically scores countries depending on whether they have multicultural curricula, whether they support bilingualism, whether they have some kind of public pronouncement in the legislature supporting diversity and multiculturalism, whether they provide linguistic minorities with radio waves or space on TV channels, uh, whether they make religious accommodations in dress or in things such as holidays or food choices uh, in cafeterias or, say, in the armed forces. All of those things can be considered multiculturalism in different ways. If you do that, if you score countries in these ways, you find that Canada and Australia are among the most multicultural countries in the world. Germany used to be down at the bottom on these multicultural scores, but over the last 10 to 20 years has gotten a little bit higher in terms of accommodating diversity. So even if people in Germany don't necessarily embrace the term multiculturalism, on the ground there has been movement towards recognizing pluralism and accommodating difference. Now if you look at the countries that do this, who have more of these policies, and you look at outcomes that might represent social cohesion or some kind of unity, for example, citizenship or feeling a member of the society, you find that in countries with more multiculturalism or more of these policies, immigrants are more likely to be citizens, they're more likely to identify with the national community, and there are hints that they might perceive less discrimination. This is particularly the case in the immigrant generation, when it comes to the uh, children of immigrants born in the society, they tend to start looking a lot like everybody else in their attitudes or in their uh, attachment to a country. So in a way, this means that integration is happening in that over the generations, you can see much less difference between the immigrants and people who are considered native born. Um, the upshot, though, is really important. So adopting policies of pluralism or multiculturalism, there is no evidence whatsoever that this undermines uh, integration as understood as citizenship or national identity, and there is some evidence that it might be uh, positive and actually promote this kind of integration. Mm -hmm.